got it this time. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Emergency Intercom. Today, I am by the two scariest people ever who came out of the same vagina. Yes. I'm really scared. <laughs> vagina. Um, are you going to do an introduction or like what? Introduce yourself. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> um, I'm Drew's sister. Twin sister. What's your name? Madeline. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ew, y'all are acting like you just met. Like I'm confused. I don't even know who this woman is. Like we just found faking. her. Yeah. She was a doppelganger <laughs> who a fan took a picture of, and we were like, we need her all. We just picked her up from Skid Row. Yeah, like she's. Just By the, the way, vibe. I laugh a lot, so <laughs> just know I'm gonna laugh a ton. Yes, that's like really <laughs> fucked up. Actually, we don't like that over here. Like we yeah, try not just to don't laugh. laugh. Just don't laugh. <laughs> not try not to laugh challenge. <laughs> Those have never been good. Like in the history of try not to laugh challenge compilations on YouTube, they have never been. I've good. never once laughed at a try not to laugh compilation. Okay. Unless I'm in it. Unless I'm in it. <laughs> this conversation is giving like, would you wear like a like a clothing you, a dead person wore? What does he say? Oh hell no. <laughs> yeah. Hell no. There are these two guys who are like, I don't even know if they actually had a podcast. They but, did. Uh, but we couldn't find full episodes of them. It was like snippets on TikTok and like they would sit across the table from each other and the questions they were asking each other were so bad, like they weren't good. And it was like, would you ever wear like um, like vintage clothes and the other guy was like like clothes a dead person wore and he was like oh hell no and that was the entire <laughs> was clip it. were they it, trolling or they, being for they were being so dead they serious were and it's literally one of my favorite TikToks ever because the dude the way he says oh hell no is so fucking funny <laughs> like it's so monotone yeah but um, welcome back to emergency intercom this is my lovely twin sister, Madeline. There we you thought, go. There's we thought um, <laughs> we might bring her on and just share a couple funny stories about me and uh, see where it goes, see where this episode takes us. How are you enjoying LA this time? It's not your first time here. No, we had fun. It was with our daughter for the first time. I know, we I have know. a almost seven month old daughter. My twin sister is literally pregnant, and She's I'm literally here, mother. Like, yeah, I'm here wearing a fucking Supreme Box logo shirt. I'm like, not something pregnant, is by the way. Wrong. You said that I was pregnant. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was I not supposed pregnant. to say that? Was She's... I not supposed to say that? <laughs> You're so annoying. Dude, wait. They have. Should we cut that? No one knows yet. No yeah. one knows. It's triplets. Um, They're getting a TLC show. Maybe so you excited. know something that I don't know. No, because I predicted your pregnancy. You did. I knew. Drew was first to know yeah, that I, I was pregnant. I literally knew. Like I was like calling everybody. I was like, something is seriously off in the world right now. There is a weird ass energy going on. And I called everyone. I even called Steven and I was like, is Madam fucking pregnant? And Steven probably was like bone white. Like No, we were both like myself. Yeah, we were just yeah shocked. Were y'all not <laughs> saying anything because you wanted to do like a like a thing where you tell everybody? No. We were waiting to make sure that everything was good with the pregnancy first because you nor you normally wait like twelve weeks before you announce. Wait, but oh, oh what? Wait, we both got a clap. We, we both, both got a clap. Oh, no, we, we both, both got, got a clap got this episode. In, yeah. Drew has an ongoing joke that I like to get in the clap before him, and I like low key do. Like, no, I like to get the clap in, and I like to be like, welcome back to this episode. It's okay, crazy why didn't I get to do the clap? Clap. Clap for the heavyweight <laughs> champ. Me. Couldn't do it all alone. We. Um, is 12 weeks three months? Yeah. Or am I tripping? Damn, that's a long time to not say anything. You mm. don't typically find out till you're about like five, six weeks. Okay. So it's not really that long. But yeah, we wanted to wait till actually our eight week appointment to start telling family and friends. But we told you before we even went to the um, I'm doctor, right? Yeah, because I'm really Because you special. were in town and we didn't want to tell you not in town. Yeah, you wanted to mm. tell me in person. And you were about to leave. And so we were like, shoot, we got to do it now. Yeah, I had just gotten back from a road trip from Austin. And on the way to Austin, I was like, Holy shit, she's pregnant because you were demonic I, in Missouri. It was crazy. <laughs> it was scary boots. I was literally afraid of her. Like everyone was scared. Like and then like you when I got to Texas, like you were kind of scary still. And I was like, okay, like there's some hormones or yeah. some shit going on in there. He's normally the dramatic one. Oh, hell I'm not no. normally dramatic. I'm you say, me, oh, hell but no. me, oh, me dramatic? What? This is crazy. <laughs> you literally replied like that guy, oh, hell no. <laughs> like, you <laughs> this literally is crazy. are dramatic. I'm literally not. Y'all are psycho. So, for the 
for the roles to be switched was scaring him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. normally he's the crazy. But I one. also do. I can just sense the energy of people shifting. Like I'm always oh like, there was God, an energy right. behind he that swears. comment. There was something there. Like I can tell when someone is being like slick with me, or if they're if they mean it for real. Like I can just tell these <laughs> things, and I could tell something was off. I, I'm just like a very intuitive person. Like no, I just you know things. I see like, a lot of things a lot of people don't see. Like people and voices in my room and stuff. So it's like really. It's <laughs> actually really fascinating oh you're a medium yeah we you should have that arc <laughs> like <laughs> like you getting people to pay you to talk to spirit i probably like actually could contact it because i literally would go on live stream for like three months straight just doing ouija board shit like there's something seriously wrong there in me. Is. i'm haunted <laughs> wait at the beginning of like because both of y'all started you now like mm. that's where you started right or you started on Gift Boom. There was an app before Instagram was even big called Gift Boom. And it was Parker like... Parker Kit Hill yeah, got it, big on there. Yeah, it was basically just like gifts. And you would go on the... What was it? Popular page? Mm. Was it? I'm pretty sure it's called Popular Page. But you would literally just make gifts. Like there was no sound or anything. And you would like make memes. I think I like vaguely of. remember making like a gif or two. Because like did it ever get to a point where you could upload a video and it would make a gif of it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I think like I would. I definitely use it like for things like that. But I never. I never knew Gift Boom was like people were using it the way y'all. I had you were. my first like fan account like on there. Like it was crazy. I was but, so jealous too. Yeah, Drew. I would shout Drew out. Yeah, it was <laughs> crazy. How, like, yeah. It was crazy. I was jealous as fuck because I was like, damn, like I want this like badly. <laughs> I mean, I she is like the reason like I ever got into any of this shit because you were doing all those YouTube videos like. Putting me, dude, there are so many fucking nasty, gross, cringy videos of me. Like, one that I vividly remember is like me putting like a hot dog on a screwdriver. A screwdriver no, it was like a paper plate and yeah. a hot dog. Or, I yeah. don't even know what we were doing, but we filmed YouTube videos when we were like 11. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> we were so little. Insane. And it, it was like OG, OG YouTube. And like, yeah. it, it was like the part of YouTube where like, it was just your homies, like how like normcore people use Instagram now. Like they just post to their friends or post to their Twitter, just yeah. like mm -hmm. to their homies. Like that's how YouTube was, where mm -hmm. it was like a a group of like eight of your friends all posting YouTube videos back and forth to each other. And I remember you doing it, and then my buddy Hunter and his brother would make YouTube videos mm -hmm. on their MacBook with like the MacBook effects. And I remember being like, "Holy shit! Like this is so sick! Like I didn't know you could do this shit." And then. Yeah, then we just like, you kept doing YouTube and then you did GIF Boom. And then went to Instagram. Instagram. Because we knew a girl in our town yeah. that had like 300,000, which was like equivalent to probably like, Kylie I would say Jenner. 5 million. Yeah, yeah. That no, is that's insane. probably more. That's like, she was the most famous person. No, on the she app. was. And she yeah. was from our town. I remember like fangirling over her or whatever. She was the OG meme girl. Like, though, that she one. She was the one with the boobs and the shirt. The like, hey, girls, keep your. What is it? It was something like, hey, girls, you should know, keep your boobs in your shirt or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something along the lines <laughs> like that the it went for. But I feel like that was like the first like viral thing yeah. that like everybody knew about it. She went on Dr. Phil. Like, yeah, damn, she was like, she was the town. girl. And I remember you were like, like friends with her because like, like you on had Facebook like Facebook or something yeah and you had like 40,000 <laughs> followers and we would go to like football games like when we were in like sixth grade and you yeah. and her would like key it was yeah. like really it interesting. was before like, what was her name Sabrina Tamayo Tamayo yeah. Sabrina Tamayo it was before that, like, followers were even cool. Like, yeah, it was, it was back when it was still, like, okay, they're probably all fucking, like, freaks who want to kidnap you and kill <laughs> yeah. you, anyways. Like, Literally. how a normal girl takes a cute picture, how I take a cute picture. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I have I gotta so many of them. You know what's crazy is I wrote down like in my notes last night. Yes, while yes, I was here it is. Through. Sorry, sorry to cut you off. Girls, you should know that oh. um our boob or your boobs go inside your shirt. Like <laughs> that is I was just saying like, like <laughs> this realm of like the baby is mad. Oh, poor baby. Um, we just woke Luna up. Also, if also you up. if you need to go like Tinder, okay, you can. Steven. Yeah, Dad's Steven's got it. like actually <laughs> an app. No, <laughs> no my not. mom is in there. No, but Steven, it's we talk about it all the time. How like 
it's crazy that Steven is an actual good husband. Like, mm-hmm. it's not just, what is it, kinship or whatever? Uh, you're not, like, kin keeping. Like, yeah. just literally keeping, like, the whole thing alive by yourself. Yeah. Also, I said to Orion last night, I genuinely think there needs to be a study done about even infants and their irritability because I feel like you and Steven are such chill, calm mm-hmm. parents that that's why she's such a fucking happy baby because so far she has had no examples of like a tumultuous Mm -hmm. attitude yet Mm -hmm. so she's just going to be a calmer baby and more easily swayed into being happy like she doesn't learn that like type of behavior i don't know yeah Yeah. like she doesn't see y'all yelling and raising your voice Mm -hmm. and like continuing that out for long periods or like ever so i feel like babies are just smart enough animals to be like okay wait like (laughs) Yeah. if they're laughing and playing i'm just gonna laugh and play because i feel like a I lot of parents like, get angry up. i'm tearing yeah. up thinking about her i'm i literally love that child like it's my <laughs> own it's fu- because it's like i think it's like part of my dna like or some shit like I we share dna shared, or something yeah, like it freaks me out when i look at her i'm like oh that's like my child like it's <laughs> really really bizarre y'all i wish i could explain it but yeah no madeline and steven are like great fucking parents like it it I mean, it's not shocking to me, but, like, when y'all were having a child, I was like, damn, they're, like, young. But, like, you even said growing up, you were always, like, I'm, like, meant to be a mother. Like, people know. Like, Madeline knew she was meant to be a mother. Like, she was always so good with, like, the neighborhood kids or, like, our parents, friends, children. Like, you were always taking care of babies. And also, you were just, like, raised around children. Like, I don't know. It's crazy seeing you, like be mother like you're literally (laughs) mother (laughs) and it's fucking crazy that there's a child in our frat house like this i know a child in this apartment literally freaks me out i'm like what is it doing here we literally last night we're watching um fortnite like (laughs) we're watching y'all's like neighbor Yo, oh, yo, yeah. Savage Mike. Savage Mike. Hey. Shout out Savage Mike. He's so good at that game. It's actually jarring. Like, people were that good at that game. But we stayed up watching it. And then Luna woke up to be fed. And we were sitting there while you fed Luna watching she's just that. watching. And she's just watching. And I was like, dude, this is crazy. This is literally yeah. a baby watching Fortnite. When with Madeline right and Steven aren't looking. Well, one, I'll give her, like, a cigarette and a beer because she just, like, yeah, deserves she needs it. She's it. had she a needs, long, hard day. She has a really day. stressful life. Yeah. And then... <laughs> I'll um, <laughs> give her a <laughs> macro dose screen time for her. So I'll like put on like super cuts of like TikTok compilations sped up t- 300 times speed. So she's like watching like five hours worth of TikTok <laughs> in like three seconds. Just so like she understands the culture a but little bit. But we balance bit. it out and we hand her like a uh, Sylvia Plath, the yeah. bell jar. <laughs> yeah, she's reading and she, the bell. She's already reading the bell jar. <laughs> Believe it or not. But I do look at her and I'm like, oh, she's a genius baby. Like, yeah. But every parent, I mean, look, I'm saying like I'm a parent. I know, but you're like, saying it like it's your kid. You're like, every parent <laughs> thinks our kid is so gorgeous. <laughs> no, but it's, it's crazy. Like, I look at her and I'm like, oh my God, she's mine. Yeah. But, do you feel like an intense change in your character or do you feel like there's just like a addition to your life? I think it's just, yeah, more an addition. I feel like it's made mine and Steven's connection way more like really? strong. Yeah, it's weird. Like we oh, are on a, happened. yeah, we're on a mm-hmm. whole oh, different so wavelength sweet. now. Damn. Like, and I know that's not the situation for a lot of parents yeah, and that's like, really sad. Yeah, children my family. <laughs> <laughs> Same. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but Guys, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Like, it's not the norm for some people, but for us, like, it really is crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't yeah. know. I think we're just such a good team. Why are you bragging? <laughs> like, you're like, literally just sitting there bragging. Like, but no, that's I'm just like kidding. how I would say it's kind of like changed is I feel like our relationship has gotten better for sure. Yeah. But like I said, that is not the normal. Kids do not always fix everything. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't do a that. Don't have of, kids. A lot of people need to hear that. A lot, <laughs> a of, people. lot of people need to take like, that Like, oh my God, I hate you. You know what we should do is have a kid. kid yeah. that what? That'd be so fun. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. But. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> no, that's right. so insane though. Like. I could see a, a child breaking me, breaking my spirits for oh, sure. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. You love but your life. I say that, but I love babies. Yeah. Like, every time I'm around a baby, I'm like, I can't believe this. Yeah, like, you've this been is so insane. good with Luna. But also, Luna's just such a good baby. She's literally I, a trick baby. I Yeah, she is. I feel like that's another part of it, too. Like, I feel like if she was constantly crying and stuff, and that would definitely, like, put a Sean. Colic. What? 
my grandma one time was like, yeah, you just like need to have another baby to experience like having a child. Oh, having yeah. a, oh. like a, not a, kids are not bad. Babies are not bad, but having like a, a, a bad baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I know what I mean. Cause Were literally. Were either of us bad babies? Um, I don't know. Mom said that I wasn't, but well, she bad never, baby I never on asked IG. Her. Yeah. <laughs> I apparently was like the most silent baby. Mm. Like my parents were a little freaked out by me because yeah. my brother was a normal ass baby, screamed, cried, mm-hmm. kicked, whatever, was actually a fucking demon. Yeah. Like <laughs> from the moment he was born, did not want to be cleaned and was always a fucking nightmare to clean. <laughs> um, but I was just mad silent, like didn't cry, yeah. didn't make a lot of noise. Like they would sometimes be like, is she Girl, dead? A lot, like, in her a lot right has changed. A lot has changed. A lot no, literally, has it's crazy changed. because it literally immediately after like by the time I was like cognitive I was a fucking crybaby freak bitch like yeah. my friends would ma- like my family would make fun of me my nickname was boogers and cookie because when I would cry I always have gotten a lot of snot Ew. so I'd be like boogers boogers and I would scream boogers and then I would scream for cookies <laughs> so like if somebody mentioned a cookie to me I'd be like cookie like, literally nothing screaming. has changed yeah. like actually maybe nothing has nothing changed. has changed but it's just my coffee and they like will cry and have boogers and have like cookie crumbs in her boogers. Yeah, it's actually really gross. I but don't know that's... why I get so much not. <laughs> like, but that's a different story. <laughs> that's what she was saying, though, is that she's kind of, like, curious to see how Luna turns out because Luna is, like, kind of quiet. And then mm. she yeah, was like, I... I was quiet, but I now like Amy is, like, the complete opposite. I feel like that's how it always happens. Like, I mean, like, boys are awful when they're, like, one to five, and then five and on, they, like, become chill. Like, Luna's going to be great till five and then she's going to become a demon and yeah. then you're going to have a teenager girl which is going to be interesting oh my god and, i love the idea of her being a teenager that's literally so <laughs> she's funny. literally gonna run away from y'all and be like i need to go to like uncle doofus's house in los angeles <laughs> yeah, she's gonna fly here yeah. dude we're gonna be so old by the time that girl, we're literally gonna be like 40 by the time nope, she's not like me. Mm-mm. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, y'all, <laughs> not me. Oh, well, you're only 17. Yeah, so you're 16, 16. Well, you turned 17 this year, so you have to, it has to move. I'm 16, for, I'm forever 16. <laughs> well, it's funny because me and Madeline are twins. We were born at the same time, but I'm actually 17, and you're what, 25, 24, 25? 25, yeah. yeah. so it's in, it's really interesting. I don't even know her age anymore. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's really crazy. Because you're only 16. You don't have to worry about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't have to think about having kids yet. Yeah. <laughs> you have to worry about not having kids. Yeah. And I'm like a really successful 17-year-old. Like, I pay bills. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were 16. <laughs> <laughs> I pay the bills. Literally, Charlie D'Amelio be like, yeah, I'm a really literally. successful 17-year-old. Um, But... Fuck, I was going to say something and I fully just forgot. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Luna yeah, being a, a teenager? Um, no, it was like a question to you, but I literally just forgot. So I guess whatever. What I think and ask Look, at, should we move on from talking about Luna and you being a mother and like talk about me and funny <laughs> stories you have about me? Like, <laughs> Or yeah. we could talk about like Madeline as a person and not as a mother and like detach the two. Like, I don't know. Mm, no. Do you believe in that? Like, because I feel like there are a lot of people. I kind of asked you this the other day. Because it's really easy, I feel like, when women have children for that to become their full identity Mm -hmm. and people to only really care about that and just suddenly forget that this is a person who still is, like, managing their own life and, like, feelings. Have you felt that that was an issue so far or is it something that doesn't bother you, like? Well, I think, again, going to Steven being such, like, a good partner that he allows me to have, like, an hour or two to myself. Yeah. Some some mom yeah only yeah he, he times it. <laughs> only one hour <laughs> you, and you have to do something like clean the house first before yeah. he gets she, you that well, she's making sandwiches in that hour <laughs> yeah. duh yeah some women don't have that option and it, it makes me sad for them because i do see how it could turn out like that um but i'm in such a special circumstance that I would say that I haven't really experienced that, but I can so see how it could be like that. Yeah. yeah. Because there has been there has been moments where I do kind of like I start thinking like, oh my gosh, like what did we do? What did we do? Like I would just want to go play Pokemon and mm-hmm. not have to worry about her nap time or whatever. Yeah. But um yeah. It's just I don't know. I I'm lucky. But I again, I do see how it could, yeah. yeah, become an issue. Sorry, I'm being quiet. I literally just looked at Mother Madeline and started tearing up. It's so <laughs> weird. Like I can't even look at her right now. Yeah. 
Oh, the thing yeah. I was going to say is, oh my God, you're actually about <laughs> to start am, crying. Like, you're crying. Oh, Drew. Hey, speak your truth. Oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> I'm like literally crying. <laughs> Maybe Drew. men don't have to take psych uh, psychedelics. Their twin sister just has to give birth. Oh, and then I've they learn done psychedelics. <laughs> this is a mixture of both. No, I don't know. It's just crazy. Yeah. I'm oh. over here cleaning bottles every morning. I know. And it's so making weird. Milk. <laughs> so weird. I'm yeah. making milk too, guys. I don't want to talk about me making milk. I'm she makes milk making... for me. Yeah, I have to make it for Drew for my 16-year-old. A big bottle yes. of breast Son. milk in the morning. Like... Oh, but the thing I was going to say is I remember when I found out you guys were pregnant. Also, I thought about the fact, when did y'all, when was y'all's wedding? Um, October, or no. October. <laughs> September. Oh. Whoa. September. That's when we got our house. Was September. A month later. September of 2020. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Because in my head, I was like, why didn't I go to that fucking wedding? But then I, it was during like, act, like. 2020 so that's yeah because I, I thought about it the other day i was like talking to my friend sabrina and i was like it's so weird because they're fully married and i didn't go to the wedding and then you she was were like, invited yeah. you were drew's plus one yeah right. but it's funny it's funny you <laughs> i do so look back though and i was like damn that's actually i feel fucked up for like not going like i wish i went not looking back but i'm pretty sure you know what's funny I got you COVID were, like two weeks later. You were just there for Sam's funeral. I was going to say, so you came so to you celebrate came death, for, but you wouldn't celebrate yeah, for the love. love. Like you yeah. would celebrate right. my brother's death. So you were death. just there. Well, you guys there. didn't need more love. You needed more vibes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's true. So yeah. I was there for, I was there to get so high in your parents' kitchen that I was in there for 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> making a Dude, that was literally one of the funniest <laughs> things ever. And you like took an edible or something. I don't remember. And at that point, like I, my tolerance for weed was really, really really low yeah um i think like it was most of Sam's us Sam's funeral time yeah like it was it was after like it was all of the yeah, food at the funeral, I was really <laughs> yes. high. and it was high on lsd too it was crazy no but it was after and it was like you know how people bring you like food like your community like so you don't have to cook for a week yeah. or whatever oh, okay. someone had brought tacos like deconstructed tacos where you like make your own taco and it was in there for like 50 minutes like making these fucking tacos <laughs> and, and like I kept opening y'all's mom like look over at me and i was like she knows she yeah knows. like <laughs> opening and slamming the microwave and shit like it was so to be fair it was also like the addition of being in the kitchen like i didn't know where anything yeah. was so literally to find anything i had to open, open 10 every... drawers yeah and then i'd be like fuck where were the cups and, and then i had to I start doing? reopening like wait yeah. why was i in here but yeah it was a fun, fun time. Um, <laughs> Anyways, I was just thinking, it's crazy I didn't go to y'all's wedding. But also, I remember when I found out you were pregnant, I was like, oh my God, it freaked me out because I was like, she's so young, this is crazy. And um, now I'm like, dude, you literally turned 26 in March. So like by the time Luna's only a year old, you're already 26. And mm -hmm. then I was like, not that, 26 is still so young. Yeah. But now I feel like we're all getting to the age where it's like, Damn, I'm not a kid. Yeah, no, like, like, I literally so like can't make weird. excuses. Like, bitch, I'm in my mid twenties. Like, what am I talking about? It's so weird, like how like the biological clock just turned on one day, and it was also literally like meeting all of my nieces and nephews. Like, I was like, damn, I might want one of these, and then m I might want one of these, and then I met Luna, and I was like, damn, I'm gonna have one of these one day. Like, this mm -hmm. is crazy. One of these. I'm gonna make an ugly ass baby. Bro. I said like, I'd be your surrogate. Yeah, that's my. You just surrogate have to toy. find a different donor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like um. Well, you can, technically, you could use my egg and yeah. then have part your DNA. Oh, Wait, that, that would be a vibe. No, that would make like an incest baby. <laughs> no, like, no, that would be no, but she's saying someone else. Donor. Like <laughs> somebody else is the man. <laughs> I was that's like, where the no. Joke started, but no. no, it's like some another man. <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> no, Anya's carrying my baby. Okay, Girl, yeah. no. Well, my wife my is own. carrying my no. baby, guys. My wife will carry okay, my baby. Okay, so me. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, same. Right. <laughs> right. I don't know. The idea of having kids is really scary. So we should move on to, like, fun stories. Because now I'm thinking about, like... Yeah, talk about me. Everybody talk about I'm me. I'm supposed to just be, like, the fun aunt who, like, buys my, like... No, that's... Like, kids and stuff things that's, like that's where i'm like starting to teeter that's, like, that's literally my saying. take is like i'm not meant to have kids i'm meant to be the fun uncle that like flies maddox out to la for yeah. a week and then they're like damn like 
why, why, how does he do that? I what is like his Uncle job? Doofus. Yeah, like all that shit. And then like I every once in a while like come around for Christmas and I'm like, it's always it's like rich aunt. Like that's the yeah, vibe that's I get. Yeah, that's like the vibe I need to yeah. have is I just like pull up with something fun and give good vibes. And then when Luna's really pissed at you because you have to be like a parent, she can be like, oh my God, like my mom. And you and were so much more fun. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. that's my position. I need to be, I need to be putting, uh, pitting women against each other. Exactly, that's my position exactly, in this life. <laughs> exactly. But so I had Madeline like years ago, like when we first started the podcast, because I was like, well, I want Madeline on as a guest because we have a lot of experiences that I'm, like, too embarrassed to tell, but, like, Madeline probably... Actually, no, I tell everything. Like, I'm not embarrassed <laughs> to say shit, but she developed this list, like, a year and a half ago of, like, just stories that she wanted to bring up. <laughs> yeah, I've that. been... It's titled, If I'm Ever on the Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so I have several stories. Do you want me to, like give you clues and you tell me which one I should say. I think you just tap into like the one you want to tell and then I'll be like, oh yeah. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. All right, y'all. It's getting to that time. It's cooling down. Feels so nice outside. Oh no, the sun is setting earlier than it used to. I hate my life. I'm gonna sleep all day. Somebody help me. Anybody listen to me, please. Oh my God, wait, (laughs) I have a therapist, so I don't have to freak out. I can talk to a licensed professional to help calm me down and remind me that this happens every year and I survive it every time and I'm going to be okay. Sometimes we're faced with crossroads in life and we don't know which path to take. Maybe you're thinking about a career change. Maybe the sun going down too early is freaking you out. Why is it dark? It's 4 p.m. I just woke up three hours ago. I don't know what I'm going to (gasps) do. But whatever it is, therapy can help you map out your future and trust yourself to find the way forward and persevere. Let therapy be your map. With BetterHelp, visit betterhelp.com slash intercom today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash intercom. Thank you. This episode of Emergency Intercom is brought to you by ZocDog. You know what's funny is, like, growing up, like, this is, like, a meme online or whatever, like, growing up, people are always, like, the first day I adulted, I'm doing a lot of adulting today, is when I, like, booked my own doctor's appointment, like, as a 25-year-old person. Um, No, that's very, very real. I, like, didn't know how to book a doctor's appointment until I was, like, 22, and... Now that there's something like ZocDoc, it's sad because that meme's going to die. ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top-rated patient review doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for the ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost every condition under the sun. These doctors are all reviewed by verified actual real patients not bots and once you find the doctor you want you can book them immediately with just a few taps no more awkwardly waiting on hold with a receptionist go to zocdoc.com slash intercom and download the zocdoc app for free then find and book top rated doctors today that's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash intercom. ZocDoc dot com slash intercom. This episode of Emergency Intercom is brought to you by ShipStation. So there are a few things in my life that I wish I could automate. The dishes, um, bathing myself because I hate taking showers, and most importantly, laundry. And I know a few of y'all listening have a nasty, dirty pile of clothes sitting on your bed that you need to do laundry for. So just go do your laundry. Um, But after listening to this episode, we live in an increasingly automated world, but some things still require tedious manual work. Luckily for e-commerce business owners, shipping is no longer a manual task thanks to ShipStation. Save time automating your shipping and returns in the ShipStation dashboard and keep costs down with industry-leading carrier discounts while your holiday orders roll in. ShipStation makes it easy to get the 
boring part of your business done, shipping it out. The fun is in making the product. The boring part is shipping it. So don't make it something more than it has to be. You can quickly and easily update crucial order information and reduce errors. Effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. ShipStation's robust automations and reporting make scaling easy. Oh, don't talk to me about robust. <laughs> and as your business grows, you can save thousands on shipping costs. Set your business up for holiday season success with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use emergency today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code emergency. Okay, um, this one's not, like, super crazy, but it just shows Drew's character whenever we were a kid, like, younger. Um, so, I don't know if you remember doing this, but it I was... I was going to ask you if there's anything that I... Because I was literally going to be, like, also, like, I don't remember our childhood at all. So, like, please say anything because, like, I need to, like, latch on to so one memory. funny that you said that because I told Steven, I was like, I'm going to make up, like, just some story that didn't even happen <laughs> and gaslight you and be like, you don't remember I that? I probably would have been like, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I literally would have been like, no, I remember that. But, like, yeah, no, I was going to make up a story, like, that was completely fabricated. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so this one is whenever um, I think we were in like, I guess it was third grade and it was like going to Six Flags. We had to read like a bunch of books. Stop. And so what we did <laughs> was got our like home library out and laid out all the books. I remember this. I actually and do remember all this. All we had to do was write down the title and then um, I think like maybe one little sentence about what the book was. And then our mom just had to sign off on it and say how long we read. I think we had to read like a certain amount of hours or something. So me and Drew on our countertop had like 80 books. Like, like the entire library. And we changed pins. Like we were smart in like mm -hmm. third grade. We changed like pin colors and like all this stuff, making it look like we had read it over the course of the last like three months or whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, yeah, we got free Six Flags tickets, but we never went. Yeah, so we so did all that work for nothing. We were like little <laughs> evil geniuses. Also, like whoever looked at that and believed that y'all read that many books was actually high <laughs> well, as Well, we had like, like a, it was like the entire school year, right? To like read yeah, that many books. Long, yeah. And then we just didn't do it until like It was like the, the week before. The that week we were like, before. shoot, we want to go to Six Flags. Yeah. <laughs> this is they, due in a week. Yeah. And I, so I bet we're not weird. the only person who did yeah. that, but... That's mom's character. I was gonna though. say, yeah, mom yeah, came up. Signing West. off on it. <laughs> yeah, mom came up. No, like, she whatever. like she rode hard for us. That yeah, was sick. Mama. But well, I guess she wins too because then she doesn't have to pay, pay for, for six bucks yeah. tickets. Yeah. Like they're begging a family to scam in that moment. Like it, they're begging for it. There were like a lot of little things that we would do like that. Like my, one of my favorite stories that I've like waited to tell since you've been on here was when we were like little and devious, like we had our own little language, like we were like mm -hmm. twins, like we would speak to each other. Like my mom always says, like we would just say like gibberish, gibberish to each other. But and it then was we'd like, like run to the bathroom and grab toothbrushes and then each throw them in the toilet and flush them. Like we just like knew to like to go do, do that. that, like throw it yeah. from this language. Damn, you guys were so smart. You knew to do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, oh my like, God. <laughs> we were genius. Um, but. Um, one of my favorite stories ever is when we went to the refrigerator and grabbed a bunch of eggs. I have of, that written down. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. It's so bad. We were so fucking bad. We went to the refrigerator, grabbed a bunch of eggs. We were like three yeah. or two. Two or three. One of the yeah. two. And we like went upstairs and there was a bathroom like detached from the We had rooms. just moved in, by the way, to yeah. this brand new house that my parents had just It's got. the house you stayed at yeah. uh, meteor night. Um, yeah. And we went to this bathroom and we like had run hot water and we had these eggs in the sink. And I remember this vividly. Like we had them in the sink and we were we were like actually like thinking we could hatch these eggs. And then yeah. I don't remember who threw who threw the first brick. Like I don't know who <laughs> threw the first stone. Um, but someone had grabbed one of these eggs out of the sink and just like launched it at the mirror or at the wall or whatever. The and like yeah, and then we just both of us just started throwing <laughs> eggs like all Everywhere. over this bathroom. Like the wallpaper Dude, at the, the top was peeling. the serotonin spike you got, well, whoever like both of y'all got when you saw that first egg and splatter we're like, against yeah. the yeah. window literally, literally turned <laughs> something animalistic on. Yes. Like y'all turned into little monkeys like throwing shit around. So we started with six 
And it was like a carton, like an, either a 12 or 18 set of eggs. But like we went down multiple times to grab more eggs. And, my and we mom, just kept saying, we're hatching eggs. Yeah, we're hatching yeah, eggs. Yeah, exactly. My, we would tell my mom, oh, we're just hatching eggs upstairs. And she's like, oh, that's like so cute. Like that's really cute. Because we're having so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> and then like eventually we got quiet. And like when a child gets quiet, that's when it's some bad good. shit is going down. <laughs> And I think either we were just like bored of it or we realized what we had done. Like, I don't know. But like, I remember looking up and seeing like the wallpaper, like peeling off the walls, like egg splatters all over like the so drywall. Stupid. Like it was fucked up. Like we like literally caused like a war crime. Like it was. I would gnarly. not clean that. Like well, I would literally let it fucking dry off and like be j- just that's the rotten egg bathroom. Don't go in there. No, like, <laughs> like, never. That's literally like, our boiler the room. Door. I know. That's, I'm like I'm not cleaning that. Um, I don't want to. But eventually my mom and dad like knew something was going down. So they like I don't remember how we got caught or like what either. happened. But I remember like they were living like i've never still to this day haven't seen them that angry before like yeah it was and that i think the reason why we remember it so much is because that was the first time we had ever been spanked and i think the last time i had ever been spanked like i we that's how mad they were like they weren't spanking parents and they spanked (laughs) us like i remember where it was was on the boat flex (laughs) yeah it was on the boat flex like that tv ad that like workout machine that was like rods like we were like on the little bench thing yeah (laughs) Getting our ass spanked. Like, it was crazy. I thought you were saying they had y'all doing a fucking, like, (laughs) they had us working out. They forced you to do a pull up instead. My parents have made, like, our siblings, like, work out as punishment. Like, our older siblings were smoking Cheetos. And my dad was like, oh, since y'all want to smoke, like, y'all better train your fucking lungs. And he made them run around our block, like, a hundred times. Like, driving as they're running around the block several times. (laughs) They were smoking Cheetos. It's so funny. Dude, for smoking a Cheeto, that is literally so yeah. fucking funny. Yeah, but I like I don't really ever since that moment I was like a well behaved child or I was really, really good at hiding being bad. Like yeah. like me dissecting that snake, like and then like looking at its insides and then sewing it back together. <laughs> Um, that's not hell? real. <laughs> that <laughs> no, that's no that's not real. Okay, if I found out like you actually did something like that, I genuinely don't know if I could live with that's you anymore. That's serial killer. Yeah, because yeah, no, I'd be I like, know. okay, you were really <laughs> okay. Serious. There is one thing that I did, um, I, and it was me and my okay. buddy, and I'm not gonna mention him by name, but we found a dead animal. No, I'm just fucking with you. I'm just. Fucking I know. With I was y'all. like, what did you do to it? Yeah. No, 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 um. No. Also, that just reminded me. There was this TikTok. Like, there's all these TikToks that kids are asking their parents, like, "Oh, what would you do if I came home drunk? What would you do? Like, whatever." And the dad, who the oh, girl was yeah. like, "What would you do if you saw me smoking like one of your cigarettes?" And he was like, "I'd make you smoke the whole pack." Like, that, <laughs> just yeah. deadpan. Like, like, like dead I ass, force you though. to smoke the whole pack. That would teach him a fucking lesson because, like, being Nick sick they would is also crazy. Like, throw up everywhere. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I don't think kids are like I was about to say like I don't think kids are smoking cigarettes anymore. It's literally because they're hitting fucking pop bars. So. And vapes, yeah. yeah. I know yeah, they basically it's are the vape. The highlighter vape. vapes. Oh are yeah, crazy. I like found like this. So I was like scrolling on TikTok and like every once in a while I'll get like a mom TikTok and I wonder if it's like from you sending me mom content or just me following you or like whatever it is. But every once in a while and it'll be like a mom like freaking out over some bullshit that like doesn't even matter exactly exactly well this was like i was like there is no fucking way this is real because this mom was like well like warning like they're making highlighter vapes now that look like highlighter pens in luna's room dude yes Yes. but we well i mean we gave it to her yeah she but it's like the cool uncle and aunt vibe like she just just hits if you're gonna do it do it at home yeah it's the highlighter yeah i was wondering where that highlighter came from yeah yeah, I mean, but, she need, we're going to get her a pacifier one soon. Yeah, passive vape. <laughs> Guys, we're joking, we're joking, we're joking, we're joking, we're joking, we're joking. If anybody listened to that and actually believed that we are giving an infant, Girl, like, beer and cigarettes. Some, someone would, like, someone psycho. There's always one person. Yeah. 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 But um, she was, like, freaking out about this, like, highlighter vape, and I was like, there's no fucking way this is real. Like, this is some, like, bullshit 4chan edit that, like, someone made to, like, scare moms, like, yeah. razor in the apple or, like... <laughs> cocaine Razor in the and candy. candy yeah like <laughs> cocaine Razor in the into chocolate ball wait why didn't they ever put cocaine in the pixie sticks but that's the tea <laughs> um but 
they um i went to this website and they are selling vapes that look exactly like highlighters that even have the cap that you put in your pencil bag when you're in high school and you can take it out and just like act like you're sucking on the tip of a highlighter that's literally just like promoting to young kids. exactly no, that's, I, that's why what would mom, I want a highlighter with well i wanted to buy one just to be hitting on the podcast because like how funny would it be <laughs> but like, no literally it is made for children and that's what the mom was saying she was like okay y'all aren't even trying yeah. anymore like y'all tried it with the fruity flavors like whatever there's like you can say like some freak adult wants like a banana milkshake vape like whatever but like now it's a whole ass like school utensil and they they had it on like on the website where it was like sitting at your work desk like who uses yeah. fucking highlighters other than yeah, high schoolers? Yeah, also, like, grow the fuck up, bitch. Like, everybody uses their laptop and works from home if they're at a computer now, so they don't need a fucking highlighter vape. And even yeah. if they did want to vape at work, I don't think their fucking boss is going to be like, mm 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 Like, mm-hmm. they will be inhaling the smoke. They're not yeah. blowing it out like kids do, where they just are like, <laughs> like, into class. <laughs> it's so crazy, too, because it's insane how greedy people are that you genuinely think it is okay to pass off something like that to a child yeah Yeah. like also children don't have money so i don't even understand what the like what the whole market for that being opened up is but i guess now kids have like their parents apple pay fucking connected to their (laughs) iphone well the first vape i ever tried to buy it was like when vapes first dropped and like i was probably like 14 no literally i am like i was like you were like the first time i ever heard of jewel was y'all yeah it was ordering it online (laughs) and forcing my older sibling to buy it for us that's another story is i found out no i found out it had nicotine in it and i told mom i was like mom you know that thing that drew's hitting has nicotine (laughs) in it and Did she not think yeah. that? No. Well, this is what I was going to say. So yeah. I like, <laughs> I had told my mom when I was 14, I was like, oh, there's these like water vapor sticks. Cause I literally did. I thought they were water vapor. Yeah. And like, I asked her to order them online for me. And I was like, there's no nicotine in it. It's literally just water vapor. And like, she like was about to do it and she was like no i'm not buying you this so then me and my friend hit up our friend's older brother and was like can you take us to the gas station to buy a vape and like it was so fucking scary it literally felt like my friend was getting abducted like he was like texting me he was like i don't know where we're going like i'm scared it was all over like a fucking vape like he was like he stole my money like i don't know what we're doing but he eventually ended up with the vape and like he literally like was texting me like he was getting abducted it was so fucking funny and i thought he was getting abducted and i was like what it, it's funny now but in the moment we were like holy shit i know in the but, moment you were like dude my life is over because yeah, i wanted a vape literally literally well we ended up getting it and like we hid it in the closet and we were like smoking this vape in the closet and it didn't it did not have nicotine in it we got it with zero percent nicotine because you had to like I, it, was, it was this big thing because we didn't even want nicotine well eventually we like got curious to try it and then we tried nicotine so the one mom thought i had didn't have nicotine so i will die on that hill that i never lied to my mom but she thought the vape i was hitting all the time was just like water vapor and then like eventually madeline snitched on me well because i think i found out when on the tour that we were on yeah um i think i found out during then and i was like wait that has nicotine in it and i was like mom you just let him in i was like that has nicotine in it she's like no it doesn't no it doesn't i was like i'm pretty sure it does dude that's just like more testament to my character that i'm a liar (laughs) that i'd be lying but i was gonna say there was i know let me live he lies about things he doesn't even have to lie about i know and that's why he's a pathological liar like he just does it it literally is his first like him and josiah their first instinct is to just lie about something and then later on be like i don't know why i said that yeah i'd be like i I just lied like it's a cool like it's cool to lie y'all um (laughs) no but i was gonna say the one time mom got like really pissed about me about it to me was me and hunter bought a hookah like a mini hookah and we shut the doors of my closet because we wanted to blow o's like we wanted to practice like tricks <laughs> how old and were you i don't literally we were way too young to own yeah. a fucking hookah and we were doing like, hookah smoke and my mom was charcoal? like, like <laughs> yeah literally like, the whole thing and my mom came into my room and was like oh it smells like fruity in here what is that and i was like oh it's a candle and she was like no it's fucking not and she opened the door and <laughs> like smoke <laughs> billowed out and she's like what are y'all doing in there and we were smoking hookah but did yeah. you do anything bad as a kid i feel like you were like such a tame child yeah she was chill. i was 
a loser. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, so you were the normal one. He was just <laughs> I did I did insane. enough bad shit for the both of us. I actually did not find out about a bunch of the stuff that Drew did in high school and middle school or whatever until we were probably like 22. Yeah. Like I was so oblivious to everything. I didn't even know what weed was until I was like 21. Mm. That is so 21. <laughs> I think my first alcohol drink I ever had, I was 18 or 19 and it was whenever we were in Montreal and it was legal. Like yeah. I could actually get it. Like, yeah, I'm being That brutal. is so insane. I'm like, loser, <laughs> loser. <laughs> freak. Yeah, yeah I was like, kind wait. of on the same tip. I literally didn't do anything bad until I met Drew. Like, I was fully, <laughs> like, normal. Like, I, I, I was, like, I was, like anti-weed. I was, like, anti-drinking yeah. underage. Like, the most I had, like, interacted <laughs> with alcohol was, like, when I was, like, s- like 16 and my parents were, like, have a sip. Like, go yeah. ahead. See what it tastes like. Like, that was my, like, the most I did because I didn't go to parties. Like, I wasn't allowed to, like, go out and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then I met this motherfucker and literally, like, immediately was like, getting high and, like, s- like drinking, like, all the time. Yeah. Everyone was always, like, Drew, your friends fucking suck. Like, you need to drop those people, like, growing up. Was- and, like, they didn't know that it was me <laughs> corrupting these yeah. people. Like, I was the one, like, but I want to But you got your work done. You got school done. Yeah. You, you hit it so well. Mm-hmm. Like, it's scary almost. I'm good. Like, I'm what good. else did you Well, do? I feel like yeah. until, like, two years ago, there was so much that he had, like, and I lived with him for five years. So, yeah. like, <laughs> this motherfucker getting high and something. Yeah, like, no, it's I'm insane. good at it, bro. I feel like I'm the complete opposite. Like, I need to walk into a room and immediately announce and everything I'm doing. That's lying comes from. He's so good at it. Yeah, I just <laughs> practice all the time. No, I don't even think I'm lying half the time. I'm just not telling y'all things. Like, it's not even that I'm lying. It's just, like, I'm holding things back. But... I have a question for both of y'all. Um, so, y'all had baby Luna, right? How the fuck did y'all get pregnant? If because Steven's not allowed to do S with you, like, because I'm gonna beat you up. I've never. Had I'm the Virgin that. Mary. You are. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Queen. Oh, wow. oh my god! It's so an honor. Luna is wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Luna does serve Jesus. Like yeah. if you look into her eyes, like there's something very. Spiritual about her. It. Yeah. She's got some <laughs> spiritual energy to her. Yeah. I can't wait for her to curse. Ooh, that's like the most Ooh. fun thing ever. Like oh. she flipped off the camera the other day. Yeah. We mm. actually say we can't wait to be like, go tell say shit. <laughs> yeah, like go tell go tell dad, bitch. <laughs> Just go say that. That was the first time I ever cussed. Yeah. <laughs> you were like scared to do it. Yeah. You like got nervous. I realized what story I was about to tell, and then I was like, wait. Spoiler alert, I do cuss, but on the internet. <laughs> I do cuss. Wait, this is what your, the fuck is this wrong is your Miranda you? Cosgrove arc. Yeah. Spoiler alert, I do cuss. <laughs> I actually like, what's your favorite cuss, what's your favorite cuss word? Fuck. <laughs> but what is your favorite cuss word? I don't know. <laughs> Balance is motherfuckers. So. Yeah, you do. You say motherfucker. <laughs> so on the internet, like somehow I'm really good at hiding it. Like our parents let us cuss at home. Like even yeah. when we were like 10, like it was we fine. We were demons, But bro. they knew, we knew what setting we were allowed to. So if we were at church, we can't do that. If we were at school, if we were in front of other adults, like it was only a household thing. So for some reason, when I'm on camera, if I'm live streaming or whatever, I literally don't cuss like i can still do that not me like i literally wish i had self-control but i will curse every other word it's embarrassing the amount of times i say literally like and fuck like it's it's so (laughs) bizarre it's really strange but um yeah it's also really crazy that you don't cuss on camera because we live like madeline if you don't know like has more followers than I do. Like it's it's like crazy. She lives on like the complete opposite oh, okay. side of the yeah. internet. But it's just like there's zero crossover. But we're like <laughs> twins. It's so so Every strange. Every time you're in a video, they're like, "That's Drew Phillips." Yeah, That's you know Drew. Drew. Yeah. Like, and it's yeah, it's so so bizarre that yeah. like um, I'm like he's my twin. <laughs> yeah, that we're twins, <laughs> and everyone's Drew. like, "Wait, what the fuck?" Like y'all yeah. are twins. It's probably even more confusing now that you have like the last name Lloyd. People mm-hmm. are just like, "Why is Drew Phillips in this? Yeah, like, yeah. what is he doing?" I here? mean, the, my favorite trend ever right now is like clipping me in the background of other people's videos. <laughs> 
videos and saying that they were being stalked. And, yeah, and <laughs> like th- they did a video of me in the car, like or I was in the background of a video they did in the car, and like someone clipped it and made like this really fucking funny edit that like reached that outside got, of like three million views. Or yeah, something. that like reached outside of even like our audience and their following. They're like, Wait, what? What's going on? I'm so confused. And they were like, going like to, are they okay? They yeah, were like, going to like the original video and commenting like, I'm here from the other video. Like, what is this? What Who is, is that? Is, <laughs> yeah. Do you know he's back? Yeah. All you have to put is that like <laughs> yeah, yeah. sound on any video and it literally triggers like DNA, like something in our Epigenetic end, like, trauma yeah, that like, like our brains are just like, run, run. <laughs> a case that doesn't sit right with me and it's literally just clips, but yeah, do you have any other funny stories? Let me see. Oh, wait, I actually I have... had a question, though, because d- when y'all started the internet on, like, separate accords, because y'all were both doing you now, were you ever in each other's, like, live streams and stuff? Like, w- did you make it very clear y'all were siblings? Yeah. And yeah. then over time, it just... So originally, just Drew was on you now first, but I kind of, like, took it over because I loved it so much. But I would only be in Drew's live streams, and I still remember the first time that I went live, like, by myself, and I had, like... I don't know, like 30 viewers or whatever. And they were all Drew's followers. Um, But yeah, no, we, I would say mainly it was all Drew's like people that were following. But um, yeah, no, they knew. But then I like took over you now. She was doing like, she went live every single day on you now for like 700 days in a row or some shit. In a row, yeah. And she would, at least a thousand. I would do at least 10 minutes a day. And like sometimes I'd go live like three times a day for like an hour at a time. She was like like heavily addicted. And then, and then also she would do like, you were like the inventor basically of like 24, 24 hour, hour sleep broadcast. streams. Like yeah. she would literally like sleep on stream. I wouldn't crazy. sleep. I would set a timer. I would do 24 hour broadcasts and we would take a three minute like break for everybody else to sleep who was also in it. So I would sleep for three hours and set an alarm. Yeah. But like I would do stuff for 24 hours. I did like probably like four of those. Yeah. It was that crazy. is so insane. Yeah. yeah. We would like blow up cakes in the well, front because yard. Because of you, we have yeah. Fuzzy Tube. Yeah. yeah. Fuzzy Tube. Fuzzy Tube. <laughs> Pussy too on its twenty four hour every day live being a fucking insane person. Literally, yeah. that's what you should tap into. But like, have Luna in the Did live. Did we show. like yeah. predict his comeback by saying, "You made me want to kill myself"? <laughs> we reference that all the time, and he like rose from the dead. This yeah, we called him. It's like when you go in the bathroom, you say Bloody Mary three times. So that's <laughs> what you do with Pussy too. Yeah, Pussy too. Pussy too. Make me want to kill myself. Make me want to kill myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, the one, the two stories I thought of that I thought you were gonna tell was like. Um, when I like was passing out and then I had the, uh, constipation night, those two nights in a row, like I have that. Yeah. Those <laughs> were, they thought I was like faking it. They thought I was like jealous of the bond that they were forming. And I was like, I no, I'm was sleeping in my room that night. Cause yeah. I think I was having two nights like, in a row. Yeah. I think I. He knows too. Yeah. He was jealous. <laughs> Something's wrong with you. I think I was You're having jealous. I was having like a rough night or something. I was going through my depression without knowing I actually had depression. So anyway, my mom was sleeping in my room with me that night. Well, and- depression isn't real, babe. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. yeah. smile. Look, you're doing it, and you're so happy now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on medication now. <laughs> but so Drew, he all of a sudden. <laughs> Me and my mom are sleeping, and all of a sudden, it's like probably I would say like one in the morning. Like I might forget the story a little bit, but it was late, and all of a sudden we hear boom, like on <laughs> my door, and Drew's army crawling into, <laughs> into my room, and he's going oh oh, and me and my mom were like, "What are you doing?" He was like, "I'm dying, I'm dying," and we're like, "He really thought I was dying." y'all i had taken a full like grown ass man 250 pound man dose of trazodone like he even cuts it in half and my dad gave it to me because i was like i'm having trouble sleeping and i took that full dose and then on top of that i took like another sleeping pill like a lyrica or something so i was like two sleeping pills deep and i was like literally overdosing like i was like passing (laughs) out oh 
<laughs> well, I did that twice, two nights in a row, because I also army crawled yeah. the second night. So in. maybe that's like what it was, was like a mixture of the two. I don't know what it was. But you, this was the laxative night, and you were like, oh, I'm dying. And we we're like, what? And so finally you were like, yeah, I don't care. And you like left. <laughs> and so finally my mom got up because we had just like woken up or whatever and goes in there and Drew like has his door shut and he's like screaming. <laughs> it was the most pain I have ever been in in my entire, I was pissing blood. Like my body was rejecting <laughs> these laxatives. I was pissing Once blood. Once my mom found out that he had taken like way too much, that's when she was like, okay, I need to be a mom. Like yeah. I need to tend to Drew. But at first we were just like, what are you It's also doing? hard because you're so dramatic. Yes. Like you are so naturally dramatic that it's hard to understand if you're just being fucking annoying or if you mean it. And that's yeah. why I will never know the day he actually becomes schizophrenic. I won't know no. because he <laughs> likes to just like say things and be annoying. Yeah. Yep. Like anytime Drew is like actually going through an emotional like trouble i can't tell until like it three months have passed i'm like damn oh, okay you actually... he's like still mentioning it so it might be real <laughs> like i i literally can't tell like because yeah. every other day you're just like out of boredom will be like yeah I, I like hate my life and nobody like wants to talk to me anymore. <laughs> so it's just like weird and then we're like all right do you need help and you're like no it's okay it's just like i'm just gonna be silent like i always am and i'll figure it out by myself and we're like oh, we literally i know like are you being real like i'm yeah. playing Fortnite. like are you being serious like i don't want to tap out of my game yeah um. no it's <laughs> fucked up i literally no it, i just sometimes i am seriously like saying that but the other times i'm literally just making a joke i and, know like, and that's, that's why no one yeah, fucking tell. yeah i guess you literally did just say that <laughs> yeah because yeah. like no matter what your behavior that's the problem is your behavior doesn't change like you will always be in that damn room on your phone. Yep. So there's no telling if it's from depression or if it's just like you doing your life the way you do it, which Yo. is like sitting on your phone. Yeah, my mom forced me to eat a salad today. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, you've eaten like shit this whole time. You're not eating anything and you need a salad. Because he was dying again <laughs> earlier. <laughs> And my mom was like, it's because he hasn't eaten anything good. I literally you was. You didn't eat yesterday until like 11 p.m. I it was ate the wing shit stop. out of that wing stop too. Like, That's what he does though. He literally like goes through his day. He's like, I, oh, I'm dying. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. Help me. And then we'll like eat the nastiest shit ever. And then when he does eat in the daytime, he eats the nastiest shit ever. Like he'll eat like Jack Can in the I Box like while live? the sun is out. <laughs> and then be like, well, I don't know why I'm, I need to go to sleep. And it's like, yeah, it's because you're literally like destroying your stomach lining. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. I wonder why I'm constipated all the time. I wonder why my stomach no. is so bad. It's no, like, literally. <laughs> It's fucked up. <laughs> I eat for four days in a row. Yeah, don't but put you, that you don't there. eat anything green for like. Yeah. And then, you know what's crazy is I ate that salad and I immediately shit well. <laughs> like I had a healthy shit. You have like no fiber going into your body. Yeah, it's no, literally it's like all like processed meat. Yeah. Also, not to mention you were like, okay, we have food in this cabinet, and it was like talkies popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> it was ruffle. <laughs> <laughs> also only yeah only hot chips like God. no like not hot chips and then like slim jims and like something else <laughs> maybe bread and i think that bread was that was in my bread yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> everything you forgot the reese's take five. Oh yeah reese's crucially <laughs> dude crucially it's that. so insane um, <laughs> at least you started drinking water kind of yeah oh i've been drinking of. water i drink the shit out of water i love mm. water now now i love water um, i've changed but yeah, there was the next night I took the trazodone and the sleeping pill and I like stood up out of bed and f like collapsed, like literally fainted into this pile of trash next to my fish tank. And I woke up like a few minutes later and I was like, my body was buzzing. I felt really hot and cold and I was like, like out of it. And I looked at the TV and I knew how much time was passed because my show. And like, I was like, dude, whoa, I was out for a minute. Like what is going on with me? And like, I stood up from that trash can and I'm like, I'm not dying in a pile of fucking garbage. Like, that's not it. Like, that's literally so embarrassing. So I stood up again and I start walking down the hallway in my bedroom and I fall straight back, like pass out again. And I bite through my tongue and my tongue is oh. bleeding and I drill the back of my head and I feel my head hit and I'm out like again for like 30 more seconds. And I'm like, 
oh fuck like i'm actually like going like this is this is it like this is it and so like i'm like fuck but i can't walk which i actually come in myself for that i figured out like i have to crawl because i was so out of it and i'm like crawling and like when i get to my door i can't reach my doorknob and then i like pass out again like in front of my door and then i open my door and i'm crawling through the hall and then i just like throw my body like <laughs> into my sister's door because it never like shut all the way yeah. and i like plopped on the ground and i was like help <laughs> help call an ambulance and my mom was like do you actually want me to call you an ambulance and i was like i'll just die here <laughs> and then i like slept and this was when i was like terrified of my body like i hated my body like so much and i, I and like i really like was so afraid of dying that like i didn't even show myself shirtless around no. my family like i hated my body and i like went into like my sister's room that was the first time y'all had ever seen me shirtless i think like as a grown ass <laughs> man and like that's when i was like oh this is real and then i was like no i'll just die on the floor it's like whatever and i was so sad falling asleep because i was like they're gonna find my body stiff like i didn't write letters yeah literally <laughs> but then i woke up and went to school the next day so that was on a school night yeah both of them were on oh. a school night <laughs> yeah the laxative was on a school night and the next day and i was such like a fucking nerd about school that like i overdosed on laxatives was up till 4 a.m that i still woke mm -hmm. up at like 6 a.m and went to school and sat in the parking lot and did my homework in the parking lot and like same with the like Trazodone night like I, I the one thing about me like growing up was like I was gonna get my school work done by any means necessary but anyways I was not I didn't give a fuck yeah I really it's did not true. give a fuck <laughs> thank you thank you also you're giving Luigi right now thank you <laughs> my dear wiki I have two that are like top tier and I don't know which one you want me to say but <laughs> I literally do look like Luigi <laughs> yeah you actually do <laughs> Um, do you, um, want me to say the pill? <laughs> yes. Wait, let me... Yes. Oh, wait, I also have a funny-ass picture to show y'all. This one is so bad. I, I've already told it before, but you tell oh, it. Have tell you? it from your perspective. Okay. She just sent a funny video in the group chat, and it was yesterday when we got out of the movie you know how some people live above the grove and stuff yeah. this man was literally like standing above this plaza in his underwear on the phone oh what? he's sick. and we were like what the hell like he's he just standing care. there and there's like so many people around here but that's it that's gonna get cut because i don't know why i had to say that mm -hmm. all right <laughs> okay so we were probably probably like 14 or something. I, I honestly, I don't remember, but me, my dad and my brother were in the car and we're just driving back from somewhere. And me and my dad ganged up on Drew and like we always did. Per usual, they <laughs> still do. They okay. all attack me. But Steven honest, sees it. But honestly, like it just kind of depends who gets made fun of that day. Yeah, like, yeah. There, there's always one target. On yeah, there's and, like, one target always. I feel like it's always dad with somebody else. And it, the moment we switch is. it with dad, he gets super He's butter. so sensitive. Yeah, he gets so sensitive. But um, so Drew, <laughs> we're like ganging up on him, whatever. I don't even remember what we said to be honest um but he goes inside and he goes i'm gonna kill myself yeah. and me and my dad were like ah, ha, 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 like whatever because <laughs> he's so dramatic okay yeah i don't blame them well then he goes like running up the stairs we come in and then i was like had cyberbully already come out <laughs> Probably. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. You were taking notes. Like and share. Take like notes. Like and share. Take notes. So then I was like, maybe I should go check on him because it had been like five minutes and no one like went up there to go make sure you weren't like crying or whatever. And so I went up there and I come in and Drew has pills in his hand and he like looks up at me and I was like, <laughs> How long were you sitting there, like waiting? No, I was waiting. I was dead as. <laughs> Dang, no one cares about. Me. I was dead as a waiting. He was for waiting like so long. He had to like minutes. move to like an edge where he yeah. could like hold his arm up with something. No, I like, straight up. I was waiting for you them heard to me catch coming me. Coming up, and then you're like, <laughs> yeah, no, like straight up. I was like, oh, like I want them to know how bad they hurt me. I'm gonna sit here with a pile of pills in my hands. Like, like, ooh, like I was get them. like I was about to take them. <laughs> And so I went and got my mom, and I think my mom confiscated the pills. Yeah. I don't even know what it was. Probably like freaking Advil. It was Advil. probably Advil or some shit. It's like, always the Advil. Yeah. It's always like yeah. an Advil or a Tylenol. It's like, 
done. You guys are freaking me out. Oh, uh, yeah. But... but no, I was like, I definitely should go probably check on him because he, <laughs> he was pretty yeah. sad. One thing about Madeline is she is a very sympathetic person and like she makes That's funny, she has to a second make second ago in that story she was pushing you to suicide <laughs> but she was <laughs> the one that checked on me so true it's yeah. a, it's a like stockholm syndrome yeah yeah thing, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. have to build up the trust in that no, way no madeline makes sure everybody's okay it's lit yeah <laughs> not me so it's like awkward like... and yeah how are you about the coffee earlier are no. you okay? oh. Have you ever i'm still that? sticky i'm not kidding like that's the why i went to the bathroom for a second because i'm like still sticky i don't know if you notice i keep like touching my arm <laughs> it's because i'm literally sticky before we started this episode i had my coffee sitting here and i was moving things around because we film in our stupid fucking kitchen so we have to move everything every time we film and <laughs> my whole cup of coffee just fell onto the ground. It exploded everywhere. everywhere. It, it ruined be- all the books and the CDs. It, it was, was because everywhere. She counteracted it, trying to catch it, and then it like made the cup like go higher, and just it went all over the walls. The it floor. was so bad. We, like we were about to start recording too, but. And I did um, tear up. And if it was three p.m., I probably would have committed suicide. Um, Hello. We'll insert those videos. Oh, look at her! Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, she is the cutest baby ever. Like, what the hell is this? Did you wake up? She's tired. So she Did you Hi. wake up? Hi. <laughs> Do you love Inya? Hello, babykins. She good. is the cutest baby ever. <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi, little girl. Hi. Mom, come say hi. She's the babysitter. Where, where do I get to be on camera? Should I let her put my finger in her mouth so she has some coffee and get the caffeine addiction? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. get it really yeah. early. But yeah, she's the uh, happiest She is baby the ever. cutest baby on the planet, man. We were just telling the story Dang. about how I like, oh, you can like have I was going to kill myself and you confiscated those pills from me. <laughs> the, the pills. pills. <laughs> was that a common occurrence for Drew? I was just thinking, yes. <laughs> 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 he was a little bit scary for about two years. <laughs> <laughs> was she involved with the headphones? Yeah. So, oh, were you going to tell that one? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh my so, god, she's the cutest baby. We're again, ever. we messed with Drew so much, but it was probably around like 14, 15. Um, Drew had some like super scary headphones on that were like $3. They were sketchy at the dollar as hell. Tree. Sketchy Bluetooth. It was like the first Bluetooth headset ever made. And so he connected them to his phone, and all of a sudden, he like screamed real loud and. It, oh, oh, no. it almost happened again. Oh, no, no. Nuna. Okay, yeah, so scary headphones. <laughs> yeah, so all of a sudden, he, like, screams real loud and hits the headphones out. And he, like, starts, oh, my God, my ears are ringing. My ears are ringing. He's like, You know what's funny is he's you know? literally done this recently. We went to a concert, and for two weeks in a row, he's like, oh, my ears are still ringing. I don't know what's happening. I think I'm probably well, going to go deaf. Still, this one still is. It's just right, but I figured right. out. It's like, I think I have, like, a small ear canal. Oh, okay. Right, okay. <laughs> and he figured that out by himself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so his ears are ringing. His ears are ringing. He's freaking out. So he goes into the bathroom. Well, my friend is there. <laughs> and so it's my Who mom. Who was it? Sarah. Okay. So it's me, Sarah, and my mom. Her mom. My first kiss. Yeah. And so <laughs> we are. Feel <laughs> the face you made. <laughs> Have you told that story? No, hell no. I think I did. <laughs> Okay, Luna. <laughs> Luna's attacking everything. It's yeah, pretty. It's pretty there. terrible, Mom. There you go. Cast the baby off. Oh, she's, oh, she's, oh, she's, oh, she's, she's the happiest baby ever. ever. Yay! Hello. <laughs> so, <laughs> Drew's freaking out. He's in the bathroom, and me, and Sarah, and Mom were like, "It would be funny to convince him that he went deaf." <laughs> <laughs> And so we muted the TV really quick, and he comes out, and we're all like mouthing, going, Drew, Drew, are you okay? 
Like we're all like mouthing <laughs> and we're like muffled laughing. And so he starts freaking <laughs> I out. I literally start sobbing. Oh, did you fully he, believe it? Yes, yes, he started crying, like <laughs> freaking out. And he just thought like, because like the muffled laughing and stuff, like that that's what convinced yeah, yeah. him that he was deaf. Like, yeah. cause he obviously doesn't know what like, feels like or it sounds like i guess but um yeah that was really funny they electrocuted me they like electrocuted <laughs> the insides of my ear it was fucked up and my ears were like ringing and like it was like and i was like fuck and i, like, I don't threw think you off. were like fully a part of it but you were definitely there letting it happen but no she was she was a part of it she was like mouth and words too but i'm the one that Said, Drew, like, it's okay. You know. yeah. yeah. Because Drew also, he was talking out loud, but he thought it was just like in his <laughs> head. <laughs> so he didn't realize that he was like hearing himself. He it was thought it was so weird. stupid. It was so weird. You were too old to be believing I know. that. It was fucked up. And I, I cried. I literally cried. <laughs> and that's so when scared. we started feeling bad. We're like, okay, Drew, yeah. it's okay. We're like turning on the TV. We're like, Drew, we promise you can yeah, hear it's, real, it's, it's real, back. True. It's back. Your hearing's <laughs> back. Yeah, literally, literally. <laughs> Look um, at her, just looking around. Sweet, Hi, girl. sweet, 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 sweet. I wish I like. She's remembered... so distracting. Like I can't be in a room with her without just being like, baby. Hi. <laughs> Hi, you know what my favorite story of you is ever, Madeline, is um, like, it's so mean, and I've I've told it before, and we just talked about it, but like, when <laughs> you had like. <laughs> Yeah, like hairy arms. <laughs> I still do. I am very hairy. I hope Luna gets gross. her dad. Ew, <laughs> girls need to cut that shit off. I hope Luna we're gets gonna her get, dad's We're going to get her a laser away contract yeah. by the time she's like yeah. seven. So we'll but start lasering her. I was like, we were like six years old, seven years old or something. And like Madeline had hairy arms. So we would call her like Chewbacca and shit. <laughs> All of my brothers, every single one of them. Y'all are supposed we, to be protecting me, building up confidence. Yeah, no, we called her like Chewbacca. And my mom actually like let her shave her. <laughs> yeah, she would let me shave my legs and arms in like third grade. But like, my that's favorite. How... Damn, hairy ass beast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my favorite, favorite, favorite thing we ever did was there's this picture. Of the ugly monkey girl. Like, Insert I don't, picture. yeah, I don't know what it is. It's the funniest thing ever. It was like, that was early internet days. Yeah, it was like OG, early, early. OG, OG internet days. But we, we would say that that was Madeline and like we would put that as like the screensaver and be like, <laughs> <laughs> family photo like we it was it was everywhere like and we would just say that was Madeline all the time and like we would just bully the shit out of her with it I'm like that's so mean as if I didn't do that to my siblings I was like the meanest <laughs> big sister ever like I was literally when people talk about like their big sister being a bitch I was that yeah. bitch like I was <laughs> so mean my little sister I will never forget she wanted to be a singer so fucking bad Aww. when she was younger and one time we were standing uh, like walking around my radio while Halo was playing Playing and I heard her sing and I literally paused and I was like you seriously think you're gonna be a singer when you sound like shit like what are we talking about and I was like sing the song sing it song like sing it and then she like goes to sing and I was like oh oh my god yeah you need to figure something else out they did Wait. that to me like, too well you, no that uh, was the complete opposite I think dad said <laughs> <laughs> really don't sick. tell a the kid they have a good voice because they'll literally like ah. <laughs> <laughs> like they won't shut the fuck That's up. Right, like, <laughs> we were in the car. My dad was like, "Hey, Drew, you actually have like a decent voice." Yeah. And ever since then, for like a year straight, <laughs> Drew would be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> "We and just I, scared her so I bad." Like, would intentionally do it too. I would like. Oh, I don't know, what? Girl, what she has something to say. <laughs> yeah, you daddy girl. She's still so sleepy. So cute. But do you think she's gonna sleep the plane ride? Oh, I hope so. Yeah, she did not come in here. Soon. But yeah, oh, um, dude, that is so funny. Oh, also with the monkey thing, my little brother became really terrified of monkeys. So then we would put his iPad screensaver as a monkey, <laughs> and like, w like when he went to the kitchen to get a snack, we'd be like, "Come on," and we'd make it, and he would go to turn it on and be like. Ah! And like throw his iPad and be like, ah, and like literally run away from it. And we're like, what? And we're like, this, this. And then we would literally chase him with the iPad, like behind so his head. Speaking of chasing, it, I was Drew gonna say this shit. 
chased me with a knife before. We were at my grandma's house and we were watching this show, Billy and Mandy, with the Grim Reaper in it. And this is her parents. And we were like spending the night there and they had made us cowboy coffee and like we were kind of tweaking off the coffee a little bit. Cowboy like, coffee caffeine. was literally milk with a splash of coffee. Yeah, we like, were nothing crazy. We were tweaking off the caffeine for sure. Um, and I don't <laughs> remember off the what started this, but me and Adeline started fighting. And I was like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to kill this bitch. Like, I'm gonna have to kill her. <laughs> so I grab a knife and I start chasing her. I wasn't actually gonna stab you, but like I was chasing <laughs> you around the house like this with the knife, and then her dad, my grandpa, like grabbed me by my wrist and was like stop that now like he was pissed we never see him ne mad he's either. never been yeah, angry because he's watching a mad. child bear a knife to kill his and sibling then he, turned, like, he was pissed he was a very religious man and he was pissed that we were watching billy and mandy he was like it's this show it's this show it's the <laughs> devil show yeah and he turned it off and like and we were sad because yeah. we wanted to watch yeah, You're we either were... the child who attempted to stab your sibling or you were the one who was threatened with stabbing. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been on both ends. Mm. Like I've one You've time- you tried to kill me before. I've never chased my <laughs> sibling with a knife, but like I remember vividly one time my siblings were like cornering me for some reason. I don't remember what it was I did, but they were both pissed at me. And like, so it was like my older sibling and my younger sibling who I'm like three years apart by each. I don't know what the fuck it was that I did, but we were in the kitchen and my kitchen was like this almost like hallway. It was like a longer kitchen than a wider kitchen. And I literally went in there and I was like, leave me alone. And I grabbed the knife. I was like, I'm gonna fucking kill you, get away. Like, and I just remember <laughs> screaming at them and they were both like, oh. Oh, wow. Um, okay. And they just like left me alone. And then one time my little sister got so fucking pissed at me. We had to have been like I was 10 and she was seven. Like we were really young and my dad has always done construction. So we had these like long, like sharp pipes, like rods in the backyard because he was building someone a fence that week or something so he had them like laid out in a pile and me and my sister were playing and i remember like i was on the swing set like the wood part of it holding on to there like talking to her and we, i think we got into an argument over something and she literally went and grabbed one of the pipes and came up to me she was like if you get down i'm gonna fucking kill you <laughs> like she, i was like and i was just standing up there and i remember as young as 10 she's always had like blue hazel eyes and in that moment i swore to god her eyes turned black like i genuinely <laughs> thought she was gonna kill me like i was like i saw a demon for the first time in the flesh and it was my sister like yeah. i literally was so you scared told of me her. about that you literally said you thought she was like, you yeah, saw like her eyes i thought yeah. she was actually going to kill me like i had never seen a human that mad in That's my life true. and then That's she true. like freaked herself out and like threw it down she was like i hate you and ran away and i was just like oh my god oh. i just survived a, i just survived I a survived. killer like i literally survived the <laughs> last thing i'll say and then we can go into media and then just move on but was when um you i don't remember the context of it but when i frisbeed that hanger at you <laughs> and it no, what happened was we were again at our mom and granddad's and I was sleeping on the no, couch. No, I did, I did, I frisbee the hanger at you at our house too. Oh, okay. But well, I remember the one this that movie. I remember is I was sleeping and we were old. We were probably like 16, 17 yeah. at this point. And I'm just like sleeping with my neck up and mm. Drew comes over and hits me right in the <laughs> like, neck. Like, you know, like karate chopping yeah. and it's like... <laughs> yeah, and I could not breathe for, I'm not kidding you, like a minute and a it half. It was so scary. And Drew was just like freaking out. And I'm like, <laughs> I was so scared. I was like, oh my God, I just killed, killed my sister. I was like, oh wow. But I also did the same thing. I'm it frisbee to, to hang you. And I think it hit either between your eyes or under in your throat. Yeah. Like, I don't remember what it was, but the same thing happened. But you said you remember the hanger. I, you were, y'all were upstairs. Oh, but I just remember being upset. <laughs> <laughs> like that's it just yeah. anger well one time i shot my brother in the face with a bb gun but it was like so far away and i didn't think i had like, that good of aim and my bad ass little fucking no that hurt the fuck out of him his it. cheek was so red and i didn't think i could aim that far and my badass little cousin had given me this bb gun and my brother was across the room watching naruto and i like just remember pointing it and I was like, there's no way I hit him in the head. And I like wanted to hit him in the head and I shot it and literally he just goes, yeah! like yelled the loudest I've ever heard someone yell and he like looks at me and he starts running after me. I literally ran and I hid in like, you know, the big plastic like 
kitty stuff like the truck like yeah, the yeah, little yeah. trucks my um cousins had a big like play toy box thing and i literally went and hid in there for like 30 minutes and like <laughs> with the spiders they could have like taken his eye out or something. i know yeah, literally i could have so made him blind and i was hiding for Did so long snitch? and he went yeah he went and told everybody and everybody was looking for me and i was like Please, I hope I just away. died here. I hope speaking, I just died here. Like, I was like, I'm going to get my ass whooped. I'm so scared. Like, Speaking of hiding, <laughs> when we were in kindergarten, we had just had the talk about 911. And, like, if you're ever in a bad situation, call 911. <laughs> we went home that day after the assembly <laughs> And called 911 <laughs> and hung up really quick. Okay, cool, whatever. We were like, okay, we got away with it. Like, yeah. this is that so That was cool. fun. That was fun. And we all of a sudden start hearing like knocking Bang. at the door and we were terrified. We we're like, oh my God. So we hid under our parents' bed and we're like under there and we hear like police officers walking <laughs> around and like all this stuff. And me and Drew are like petrified, like shaking under the bed. Yeah, we were freaking out. And they out. like had us like come out and they were like talking to us. And I just remember being like so terrified mm. of like we were going to get in so much Dude, every, that was the worst thing they could have done is teach children how to call 911 because one, we didn't own phones yet. Like, yeah, it was we it, it was in any household. point of danger, like, of course, kids need to know that, but like, all it did is I feel like every kid went through a phase of with their cousins and their siblings calling 911. I did it's that shit so many times. Like, <laughs> I vividly remember there was a Dorothy, like, the Dorothy toys were at Burger King or something. We had just come home from Burger King and I was sitting in the front and I, like, was just bored. I did it solo. I was bored as fuck and I just went up and I called it and then she was like, hello operator I was like and then I just hung up and I went and sat back at the front door and I think subconsciously I was like I want to see if they actually show up and then I just sat there playing and the police showed up my mom went to the door and she like looked down at me she's like did you call the police and I was just like no 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 uh, no I didn't and she was like who called the police and I was like how do you call the police? <laughs> and I remember I just like acted like I didn't know what was happening and like I was confused and I fully got away with it. And like That's nobody hilarious. knew that I did it. But my siblings were sleeping, so obviously it was me. And I think my mom just looked at me and she's like, Whatever, man. Whatever, fucking go, gonna... keep playing, whatever. She knows she did bad. Yeah. Um the for real, the last thing I'll say, because we gotta go take y'all to the airport. Um mm. was uh Jay and Silent Bob, oh, the song. Yeah. So we had a direct TV <laughs> worker over and my parents, we're like three yeah, just learning how to talk and like be good at talking so so young and my parents or my dad loved the jay and silent bob movie if you know and there's this song in there called like i i don't want to say it in front of her but it's like basically like fuck 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 smoking and it's just like weed that. smoking weed yeah <laughs> and you were proud of us well the direct tv so worker came children. over and I remember mom saying, do it, say, <laughs> say it, like do the thing. And then, we're by was, your door. Yeah. I remember being by y'all's like bedroom and door. And we start singing it and we start saying it and doing the whole thing and like all this. <laughs> and the direct TV guy did not react. He did not think it was cool at all. He did not like it. And then we <gasps> no. ended up getting in trouble for it because like you said, <laughs> you like, and then you gaslit us into thinking like we did something <laughs> bad. But yeah, I remember like the Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah. F F F F F F F. I remember I was obsessed with like Tenacious D and all the songs in there were so. Yeah, and my parents had the CD for the soundtrack, so me and my brother would listen to that. And then I was like, why? I remember growing older, I was like, why are my parents putting this on in the car for us? Like they thought that was funny that we were like, that was what we were learning. All right. Well, media of the week like me when no one cares about media like uh, we just do it for ourselves at no, this point at this like point, i just want to talk yeah. i just want to keep talking about it like i saw bottoms and it was so fucking funny i'm literally gonna see it again tonight um best movie ever and then songs q fanfare by prefab sprout bring me back jeff cowell all i have to do is dream the everly brothers that's it Mine is Walk On By Otis the Third, and then what's that Stevie Wonder song? Um, I believe if I fall, fall in love, love this time, it'll, it'll be forever. forever. And then Don't Leave Me, Harry Nilsson. I have one. And the Happy yours? Song by Imogen Heap. I Heap. almost said that. I almost said that. <laughs> Luna Loves Imogen <laughs> Heap. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Look at her upper lip. What is she doing? She's like holding it down. Oh my god, she's, she's like the this. cutest baby ever. 
Oh, you gonna talk now? Are y'all gonna put her under the plane? Yeah. 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 But all right, that was the episode. Um, thank you, Madeline, so much. Shout yeah, yourself you out. On. What's all your socials? Madeline and Steven. Madeline if you want to see more of YouTube Looney. and TikTok. AX or AX Madeline, AX Steven. Yeah, on IG. But <laughs> that was that episode. Hope you enjoyed. This is my beautiful mother. That's Steve. That's Luna. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being on, Madeline. That was awesome. I'm stealing this baby. Yeah. I'm She'll just stay with us. She's going to stay with us. She's going to stay with us. Y'all have to pack and play now. And we're going to take her to the nice guy. <laughs> yeah, she's going to party we're with gonna us gonna go at Cha-Cha Cha-Cha nice Cha-Cha guy. You're on the list. We're going to get you on the list. She's oh. going to get flewed out by Drake. <laughs>